Okay, off and go. All right, so if we start, it has to be in an Excel format. It can't be a CSV file. I did. I've conver okay. converted it. So go to Insert. <coughs> pivot table and then to pivot table again and as long as everything is there's no spaces or anything it will pick up the range that you want okay. now just so you know too if you have any columns going Show across the, the top if you, if you have any columns going across the top that don't have titles in them it will not work okay, okay so every column has to have a title and there can't be blank columns mm -hmm. so you click on OK <laughs> and in this one I think we were pulling pounds, isn't it? Um, this one right here, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to pull that's the, oh, that's right, it's the, the, values. the wells into the values and the pounds into the values. <coughs> and then in the row labels, we had the producer number. Mm -hmm. And I believe <coughs> we also pulled in the plant. That's a good idea. Yeah. So you can change it and pull in whatever you want. But those were the things that okay. we had pulled in. Now I also noticed that you did some changes down there when you. Yep. So this one changed to account. Sometimes it'll come up as a sum. Sometimes as account. So if you go to value field settings, you can change it to be whatever type of calculation you and would where, like. And where on here does it do that sum now? <coughs> it will put it right in the column. Okay. The same column that is showing with the count. So I'm going to also go in and do a number format. And you know how many decimal points you want to see? Um, probably three, I would say. Okay, that so we'll was more than enough. I can always change it, though, right? You can always change it. So we'll go to three. If I click OK, now you're going to see the pounds show up mm -hmm. over here in column C. So now you have the data that's coming off of your data worksheet. Okay. So now we're going to go and we're going to put a calculation in. So if we go to formulas, calculated field. We have the new field which let's call pound variance. Okay. And then we're going to change this and we're going to put this as a formula to take your producer pounds minus wells pounds. Okay. Okay. And we need to do the minus sign ourselves. Boy, this is such a useful tool. We're going to go to insert field and then OK. And now your pound variance field okay. is showing. So now if we want to do a percent, we'll go back to formulas and go to calculated field. And we'll go, we'll make it percent pound variance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go back to the formula. And at the very bottom is your variance that you just put in. So we're going to insert that and we're going to divide it by the producer pounds. Does there have to be a space between the, 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 <coughs> the no. division? Okay. No, it should be OK. Right. OK, and then there we're going to click OK. Now, again, I did not change this to be a percent, but you have it in your field list down here. Mm -hmm. So you can go back into your value field s settings, go to your number format, and choose your percent. OK. I also, yesterday you said that you didn't like this particular arrangement and you went and changed it to an earlier version or something. Right, so I'll go into options and I'll go to display and the classic pivot table layout. If you have it in classic, you can grab your headings and drag them. Um, you know, if you want the pound first, you can drag it over. Mm -hmm. If you don't have it in classic, you cannot drag them. You have to go into your field list and move okay. them around in that field list. I like having the option of dragging them. Interesting, this time we have a, <coughs> a negative uh, three point, a negative number. And you know what, we might have subtracted them the other direction yesterday. We might have done wells okay. minus producer pounds. But even so, it's still a variance that needs to be recorded, right? Right, right, so I guess you can go it's in. Now if you decide. Oh, it's higher, you say it was only three. If you decide that, that was we 3. had... was 3.5, wasn't it? It, it was, 3. yeah, 5. it was about 3.5. Yeah. So if you decide that this calculation is backwards mm -hmm. and you want them to subtract the other way around, in order to see how it is, you know how the formula is set up, you can go mm -hmm. into formulas and list formulas, and this is going to show you what formulas, th these are the names of the formulas you've created, mm -hmm. and this is what the formula is. 
So you can go back and look and see if you want to change something. And how okay. would say list say if you wanted to actually do that? Okay, so if you want to change it, and this is actually giving you a new worksheet on here. Okay. So if you don't want that, you can delete the worksheet. All right. Okay. So if you want to change your formula, um, you want to go back to your options within your pivot table, to formula, back to calculated field, and if you use the drop down, you can find the fields that you added, and you can choose that field. And then your formula is going to show here, and you can change it however you need to change so it. So I would just basically put that back over there, right? Yep, yep. And then flip that over there. Yes, yep. Okay, could, could we actually do that just right yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm... Just cut, right, I guess? Well, I'm not sure if we can cut here, but you can just go back and choose your options again. Okay. So now you can see yep. all your signs have flipped. That's it. The one other thing you can look at with your formulas is if you go to solve order. Oh, it's not on here. I haven't used this very much, but I believe it's supposed to show, you know, what order things will be calculated in. So mm -hmm. it should show this formula and then this one after that. Um, okay. So this has captured it all there, hasn't it? Captured the whole yes. thing in there. Yep. And then, yep. It, I got my variance. So I can now just go through, after I've now recorded this, I can now go through and for just practice sake, go ahead and do the solids the same way, couldn't I? Yes. You could do them on a separate pivot table, or if you wanted, you could take your, you know, what you have here for your solids, and you could just put it down below Brilliant. in your values, and it'll just keep adding columns off to the right side. Okay. That'd be a good practice session for me. Then. And even the ones that these last two here that you calculated, you can move those around in the pivot table to be wherever you want them to be. Mm -hmm. So they don't necessarily have to be there. So if you want to pull in your solids right after your pounds and then put all your calculations at the end, you can do that too. Okay, great. That concludes that.